Hi, I am Ryan from Indiscode.com. In this tutorial, you will find out 5 different ways to check if a checkbox is checked using jQuery, and do something if checked. Before we begin, be sure to subscribe us for more great tutorials. The first method is by using .prop method. First, I am going to write example HTML code. The code features an input checkbox with ID is checked. The second element is a div element with inline display on CSS. We will use the div element to show or hide by checking or unchecking the checkbox. Now, it's time for the jQuery part. The ready event occurs when the DOM has been loaded. Because this event occurs after the document is ready, it is a good place to have all other jQuery events and functions. The change event occurs when the value of an element has been changed. Only works on input, text the area and select the elements. The change method triggers the change event or attaches a function to run when a change event occurs. So, now we are going to check whether the checkbox is checked using prop. If checked, display the hidden div element. Else, hide the div element. As you can see the output, on checking the checkbox the div element is visible, and on unchecking the div element is hidden. In this method, we are going to use checked property. The checked property of a checkbox down element will give you the checked state of the element. In this method, we are going to use dot as method with checked selector. The is method checks if one of the selected elements matches the selector element. Returns true if there is at least one match from the given argument, and false if not. We are going to use jQuery's length property in this method. We are going to use dot size method in the last method. The size method returns the number of elements matched by the jQuery selector. 
This was deprecated in jQuery's version 1.8 and removed in the version 3.0. So, use the length property instead.